friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a routine fecal emulsification in this video my aim is to show capsular excess direct chaff coaxial irrigation aspiration and visco cleaning from corneal endothelium by this time two incisions one main incision on one side port on the left side of the main incision has been made Tripan blue has been injected underneath an air bubble. The dye is washed out using BSS balanced salt solution. And then 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber. And now, with the help of a 26 case band needle cystitome, Anticapsule is incised and a nice capsular tag is raised like this. And now I take a uterate of horseps, hold this capsular tag, lift the anterior leaf of the main incision, go anticlockwise all around, remaining at a certain distance away from the margin of the dilated pupil, and thus I get an adequate sized fairly round rexis. Friends, if we can develop this skill, making a round rexis, we can do without a femtolaser. Yes, if you can afford a femtolaser, it's fine, but many of our colleagues will not be able to afford it and we will not regret if we can develop this skill of doing a round axis, then hydrodissection is done. And now see the direct chop. The tip of the FACO hand base goes into the anterior chamber with its bevel down, that is, the bevel is towards the lens mass. I am in FACO 2 mode from the very beginning, where the vacuum is about 400 in this case, and flow rate is. 40 ml per minute. After removing some superficial cortical lens matter, see the direct job. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus and the nucleus is healed very firmly and the nucleus is chopped with this small chopper. Every time the nucleus is healed very firmly and the nucleus is chopped. Now each nuclear fragment is emulsified into two smaller pieces and then emulsification is carried out. FECO power used in this case is 60%, 60% it is set at 60% but it depends on how much you press the foot switch. Though it is set at 60%, probably I am using ultrasonic energy of 40%, sometimes 30%, sometimes 50%. Whenever something is in front, some whenever the tip is occluded, then only ultrasonic energy is delivered. Yes, the nucleus and if a nucleus is managed, now let us see the use of coaxial irrigation aspiration. Visco is injected into the anterior chamber the coaxial irrigation aspiration is attached to Oatly AC and the fecal emulsification has been done by Farrows from Oatly. Yes, Farrows is a beautiful machine and the machine I have has both this fecal as well as complete posterior vitrectomy arrangement posterior vitrectomy system. After cortical cleanup with coaxial irrigation aspiration, this is hydro polish. The irrigating probe is being used to remove the cells from the posterior capsule, lens epithelial cells. And now this is hydro implantation. The anti-chamber is kept formed by irrigation and the lens, foldable monofocal intraocular lens goes 
into the capsular bag. Just by a push of the left hand instrument, the trailing haptic goes into the capsular bag. Since there is no visco, see we don't have to spend a lot of time in cleaning the visco. And now the only side port in this case is to be closed. This is a bit of moxie. And now corneal stroma on either side of this stab wound is hydrated and this stab incision closes. And now see the visco cleaning by Simco. See it in slow motion. The Simco goes the gentle stream is directed towards the corneal endothelium through its aspirating port and see the visco is getting dislodged. Yes. And then a uh, final lavage of the anterior chamber is carried out. The anterior chamber is formed nicely. And then the integrity of the wounds are checked. We must check if any wound is leaking or not. See the main wound without hydration is nicely sealed. A bit of moxie and then the case is concluded. Thank you very very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.